Welcome to Outdoors and Nat. This is video one of 11 of the Wilderness Navigation series. And so there's a whole playlist. The course is designed to go over about 10 weeks. So check out my course introduction video before proceeding through the rest of the videos. This video is an introduction to maps and we are gonna look at how to find the right map for your adventure and your needs. In front of me here, I've got a whole range of different paper maps and I'm gonna talk about those first. Then we'll have a look at some online maps and where to find different resources. So as a general rule of thumb, each state or jurisdiction provides a topographic map service for that area. And so in some cases that is a whole country, such as New Zealand, has a topographic map sequence for all of New Zealand. In Australia, we have series by state. So we have the New South Wales topographic series. We have the Tasmanian topographic series, the Victorian topographic series. And so they're organized and produced by the state governments of that jurisdiction. We also then have uh, independent map makers, such as rooftops, adventure maps, uh, hammer maps, and these all make what I'm going to call special maps and they are area specific. They don't necessarily follow the same structure that the state jurisdictions do for Australia. And they're going to be focused on providing information that's targeted to a particular audience or a particular area. Now, with our specific maps, they will also provide a map area that is targeted towards the specific user. So for the Bogon, Bogon Alpine area, these maps are gonna ensure you cover the entire Bogong area in one easy to use map. When we're looking at the state government maps, they're looking at covering the entire state. And so for that, they apply a grid and overlay that grid. And what that means is that you might end up using one whole map in the center, but then little portions of other maps around the outside of the area that you're working or adventuring inside of. And so that can mean that you might need to buy, you know, one map just for a little couple of square kilometers that you need that information for. Next thing is to look at the data and information that are going to be in these maps. So all these topographic maps are going to provide data on elevation and have contour lines. Elevations, creek lines, they're not going to change from year to year. But things like roads, urban infrastructure, national park boundaries, they're going to change over time. And so here in the New South Wales map series, we have a first edition, and so that has much older data. Then we have the second edition. Our latest edition is using data after the 2000s, and so that's the most recent version. I'm going to focus for these sequence of videos and this wilderness navigation course on maps from the New South Wales region. Final type of map which we see are often produced by national parks or uh, environmental agency that's responsible for that area and so they will provide information on a specific track or walking path. The final thing before you choose your map is to look at the scale and the next video goes through how to understand scales of maps and a full detail on that. But for now if you are hiking or most adventure activities you want to be after a 1 to 25,000 scale or a 1 to 50,000 scale there. So that's going to provide enough detail for your activities and needs. I start with the 1 to 25,000 New South Wales topographic series, and that is a really good base. It's got excellent elevation detail in there. So that's my starting point. Then sometimes if I'm after extra information, I might also use some special recreation maps. The other thing that can be useful is looking at some satellite information. And the third series of the New South Wales topographic maps has satellite image overlaid on the back side of that. All right, so how do you find free maps for New South Wales online? Each jurisdiction does often have free online maps and I'm gonna show you how to access the New South Wales one. So to do that, you wanna search eTopo and up we get here uh, is the six maps or spatial information exchange for New South Wales. And so 
we're gonna jump into the eTopo section of this. And if we click there, then it can take a little bit to uh, read, accept the conditions, close this. And now we can see all the topographic maps for the New South Wales region. For us, I'm in the Canberra region. So I'm gonna jump in to here. And then you can start to see the maps that we have for this area. And so I'm going to just start with the Canberra map. So I will click on that. And you can see on the right hand side here, I can download a PDF of that map. Then what I do is I go and uh, print that out at the printers. I will print that out and you can see uh, this is the one for Hall. And so print that out and then I chop down the excess paper, sticky tape that together. Now to download the eTopos, that's in Nick's section of the Six Maps website. If you just want to open and look at the uh, free map site, I just type in Six Maps and jump into the main part, not the eTopo section. And so if we go in here, then there's the welcome help and we have the satellite information is the default. If you click on base maps, then you can see we have New South Wales map. And if you click on the little spanner on the side there, you can see we get a couple extra ones. And so I'm gonna click on the topographic map. Now the trouble is this is you have to uh, zoom in quite a lot to get the detail that you're after. And so for walks, which I've got up on my channel, such as the Mount Majura walk, uh, we can zoom into that area and it provides the topographic information. The other thing that's really cool about this is you can use the satellite information and this bar to change the transparency. And so if you're after information about say the thickness of the forest in a particular location, you can then use the slider here to blend these two maps and see what's actually happening in the satellite imagery uh, behind this. Six Maps urban infrastructure gets updated more than the satellite imagery. And so if we blend the satellite imagery over this area, you can see where we've got houses and urban structures here. When I look at the satellite imagery, they don't exist on the satellite imagery. And so, yeah, it's a bit of a mix here between the currency of those different layers. For each of these videos, I'm gonna set you a task to complete before you watch the next video in the series. And so for this first video, our introduction to maps, I want you to find the correct map for a walk in your immediate local area. So we wanna find a one to 25,000 scale map for a walk in your immediate area uh, in the closest nature reserve to you. And we're gonna use that nature reserve in the later videos to help us develop our navigation skills. Thanks for watching Outdoors with Nat. Hope you enjoyed this first video introduction to maps and complete your task before watching the next video. Otherwise, have a great outdoor adventure.